Welcome everyone to another episode on our channel. This time it's all about putting bodies together. I have a whole array of heads here that I've gathered from the internet or eBay. Basically from this head all the way over to this head, they're the same head in terms of how it attaches to the body. The heads come basically with the necks attached to the head. So it's all one piece, all right? So this is Liam Neeson. And on the inside is a, an opening that you slip over a ball joint. So one piece. Even though this looks a little dissimilar to that one piece look, which it is, it has a rounded attachment put into the neck. So it makes the neck a little bit longer because it'll look better that way on certain bodies. All right. And, and this piece here is actually, it looks like this. So let me move it over so you can see it better. There we go. So if I wanted to, to use this attachment to make the, the neck a bit longer, I would take one of these flat one piece heads, put it over this and secure it in place. Now this is where it becomes hard because you can push and push all day and still not get this into the neck area. Some people will suggest using hair dryers to warm the pieces up so it's easier to put on. I tend to want to use hot water. It doesn't damage the face, it doesn't damage the neck, and it really makes things easy in terms of getting them together. So, so these heads are basically the same in terms of attaching to the body. These are slightly different. They do not come with necks, as you can see. So this one basically is the same as this one here. It's Brad Pitt head, and there is no neck. So in these situations, we're going to have to find a neck for it, all right? And what you're going to use on top of that is something cylinder shake and it's topped off straightly on both sides. All right. So you're going to warm this up or maybe it will fit on its own over the ball joint. Let me see if I can actually make this work. Usually, it doesn't, but this might be loose enough where it does work. Oh, I think I'm, I'm going to be successful with it. Okay. I think maybe I didn't get it in there full enough, but there is usually an end to it. You can see it right here. So it is just a little you know, elongated out. And in the head, there's a, a piece you know, might not be able to see where you can slip that in. I'm just gonna do it for you. All right. And push it together. No, it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna need hot water on this one. Or my husband is a little more built to push this together. But this is what you would do with sculpts that do not come with necks themselves. You would have to have some sort of neck attachment. And, and you can see with this one, whoops, if I can get it there. You can see if I turn a little bit, there is an Adam's apple here. So, these are just different ways 
of using various heads. Some come with neck pieces, some do not. Some need a little more length in order to look well in the body. So we're gonna take a pause. I'm gonna show you some bodies, and then I'm gonna show you how to put together or change out a head to uh, one of the characters I've shown you in the past. So we'll pause now. We are back. I just wanted to show you this one head that I think I'll have to modify to make the neck a little less long, unless I can find a body that works for it. But you can see that you can put hats on these things to change the look considerably from uh, someone who is emceeing a circus per se, or has an old time Victorian look to, to someone who is a cowboy. I put this mustache on this guy out. Not sure whether I'm gonna paint it or just leave it uh, white. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that's just a little segue. You can do so many things with a variety of heads. All right, we'll pause now and I'll get set up for the next part. Welcome back. I'm gonna show you one of the upper end bodies that is possible to obtain. This is a TB League Fison, P-H-I-C-E-N body. It is made of silicone, it's soft to the touch. It has metal ball joints and a metal frame within. It's very durable. If you're looking for a more buff look, you're going to look for a body like this. And it's gonna work well with actually a, a shorter head because it already has neck on it. The only thing missing here is the piece I showed you a second ago. This, this piece down here, you would put this on the neck. I think this might, no, it's gonna take some work. So you would have to use hot water, get it soft enough so that it would fit into this head like that, and it would be pushed further in. But I won't do that right now because I just want you to see how the head looks on this body. So there we go. But that would give it enough support so you can kind of rotate it, move it to any place you want. Right now it's just really loose on here and it will just sometimes just flop over. So this body is gonna work with heads that have no neck because the neck is already there. Hello. <laughs> so so this is a TB League Fison body and it's it's the the upper end in terms of bodies. This is gonna cost you I don't know anywhere from seventy dollars to one hundred and twenty five dollars somewhere in that range, maybe more, um, with shipping and handling. It comes with a variety of hands. So I can kind of put those out here so you can see the different types of hands that it could come with. Here are open hands. And then you've got a little less closed fist going on. So this this particular hand is going to be able to hold things. And this one is, of course, the, the closed, closed fist hands. So there you go, Fison body. It actually comes ana anatomically correct um, with other attachments. So anyway, the TB League Fison body. Here's another body that can be used. It does have the neck attached. It's muscular as well, but it certainly is not silicone like the other body was. It, uh, it has attachments with hands. This is where you're gonna run into some problems because 
it's going to be a chore to get these hands these hands on on the body itself this is where hot water will come into play as well it'll make this a much more smooth process in terms of getting the hand on the other nice thing about these bodies is that it does come with um, with thigh attachments to make the legs look a little bit more thicker in case you want to have more of a muscular look underneath the clothing. So that's a nice touch as well. So, so this is a step up. The only thing you're going to lose with this body is, is mobility. These are very difficult to, to position, to pose. Um, the joints are stiff and so forth. But if you want a muscular look and you don't want to pay the amount of money that you would be paying for a TB league or a Fison body, this could be an alternative. Now, this is a nice body in the sense that it is more universal. Not only does it come with this, this particular joint, which would work with, let's go with the Liam Neeson head there. That would attach very nicely to this head once you warm it up, of course. But you can take this out, warm it up to get it out, warm this up to get it on. So it's very universal. It can give you two sets of neck attachments and basically fit about any head you want to use. It comes with various hand attachments. Again, you can probably see some of these hand attachments here, get it back a bit. And it does come with, again, the, the attachment that can make the thigh look a bit better. The, the beauty of this particular figure is it's very, very, very poseable. So you can, you can achieve certain looks that you definitely cannot achieve. Um, with the second body I showed you. Um, so the arms can move over and so forth. There's so much articulation going on in this body. It's, it's absolutely amazing. The Fison or TB League body will also give you a lot of articulation, but the one in between, very limited in terms of posability. So these are our three bodies at least the ones I wanted to show you. I like this one the most in the sense of not only cost, but durability. It's going to fit a variety of heads because it has several different neck attachments. It's also gonna fit a broader range of clothing that is out there in terms of the figures. When you get into the more uh, buff look, the muscular look, you're gonna have more challenges finding appropriate attire that works. Not impossible, but just a touch more difficult. I know I said earlier when I showed you the World War II Allied Powers, here was the paratrooper. It had this hat on it. I was very happy with the hat, and I was at the time, genuinely. And now that I've been doing some of these how-to videos and looking at the head and I'm going, you know, that's a dragon head. That's an old head. It was great at the time. You know, it's still passable today, but it really isn't as detailed as other heads. So let me pause for a second. I'm going to put a new head on this body. Let me get this out of the way, but I want to show you the difference between head choices. And so give me a second and I'll set up for that now. This is the original head sculpt that I used on the paratrooper body that I showed when we did our episode on World War II Allied Powers. 
It's a perfectly good head sculpt. It's either a dragon or dragon in dreams, which is similar to this one. Again, at the time they did the best jobs in terms of head sculpts. And these are perfectly fine sculpts, but when you start looking at some of the other newer head sculpts, you look at this one, for example, the eyes are much more defined. You look at Brad Pitt, the whole facial features, the eyes to include the facial features are much more defined. I uh, kind of fancy this one. This one I just recently got. And I do tend to like to update to newer head sculpts, especially with my military collection to give them a, a fresher updated look. So I'm thinking about using this particular head sculpt to replace this one. And I will either remove this piece, this rounded piece here from this particular head and put it on the body or I'll remove the rounded piece that's in the body and put this complete thing on the body. I'll figure it out and I'll show you how to do it. I thought I would do a side-by-side -side comparison between these two heads before I actually put this head on the body. Again, this is a perfectly fine head sculpt, an older dragon head sculpt but you can see this is definitely much, much more detailed. Let me go ahead and put on the helmet for you so you can kind of see what it looks like. And you can kind of be your own judge between the, the two figures. So here we've got the newer head sculpt and of course, the older dragon head sculpt. Nothing wrong with it again, but I think it's going to do much more justice to the paratrooper figure than this head sculpt. Okay, so I've taken a cup. I filled it with about this much water. I didn't need a whole bunch for the head. I set it at the microwave for about 90, 95 seconds. Just going to put the head in here and give it a few seconds. Then I'll pull it out. And uh, then I'll use a flat head screwdriver to try to get the attachment off. All right, so let me get a spoon to get him out, wipe him off a little bit. It's very hot. But notice nothing's happened to the face. Hot water will not kill a good head sculpt. Right now I'm trying to put in the back because I really don't want to ruin anything in the front if I can help it. And I'm just going to try to pull up. Oh. What do you know? It, it went flying. Give me a second. I'll be right back. And let's put this head here so you can see it. And I will retrieve my missing piece. Oh, my husband's going to throw it to me. <laughs> and uh, there it is. Oh, actually, there it is in terms of the missing piece now. And we'll pause now and I'll bring the paratrooper back into view and we'll get the head on the actual body. Welcome back everyone. As you can perhaps remember from the previous clip, I was able to wonderfully get this off of this particular head. Wonderfully flyingly it leapt over the table and onto the floor. No damage to either piece. So that was not a problem. But then I discovered a problem with this body. If I can turn this 
you can see that there is a tongue here around the neck. Unfortunately, there is no groove in the head that I pulled the attachment out of. So either I have to put a groove in here, which I'm not going to do, or remove the tongue, which I'm not going to do. So my solution to this process, instead of using this body, I want to use a different body. So we'll take a break and I'll show you how to do that. Since the previous body with the paratrooper outfit on it had a tongue on the neck attachment and the head that I was going to use didn't have a, a groove, I decided I would use the universal body that has several neck attachments and put another head on here or the head on here and then transfer the clothing over to this particular body. So let's let's do it. This time I'm going to use a bowl and not a cup because I really want to get the head or the neck, the entire piece. I want to make sure that that gets warm so I can pull it off nicely. So give it a few seconds. It can be hot, very hot. With a microwave, you, you want to get it hot enough so it pulls apart nicely. It's not going to ruin anything um, with heads. You can put it in very, very, very hot. It's not going to ruin the head. This one actually went into scalding water that actually bubbled when I put it in. Nothing happened to the head. Um, not to say you really want to make a practice of doing that, but you want the head to come off or the pieces to come off. So anyway, I think that's long enough. We'll shake it. I'll take a washcloth. Let's see if we can get this thing off. Ooh. Almost spilled the water there. That came off very, very nicely, as you can see. So now, I could do one of two things. Since this was taken off the head a bit ago, it'll pro probably go on very nicely because it's been loosened and so forth. If it doesn't, I'll put it in the hot water and we'll get it back in. Ah, it actually went in quite nicely since it's done it already. So here we go with attachment. But I am thinking I want to save this out actually now for another figure. So I am thinking I'm going to go with this head instead. Let me turn it so... There we go. <laughs> there we go. So this is the head I'm going to use on... on this body. So I'm going to soak this in hot water so it goes on nicely to this, this head. And um, hopefully it all works. I'm looking at that. That looks pretty big. I'm not sure that's going to work. Now the neat thing I could do is I could put this back on. We're really showing you a, a whole way of brainstorming here. Take that one off and since this does not have a tongue and groove we should be okay. All right so let's see what happens. So it may fit over this thing. Um, no, it's not going to fit on this thing. So the best thing to do is to take this apart again. Oh, and that's so nice. So nice when you put it in hot water. This one is not going to go flying. I can tell you that right now. There. Oh, well, that's interesting. Somebody glued it in there. 
Aha! That's the first time that's ever happened. Somebody used putty to put that in there. That's okay. I really just don't need the putty in there. Yeah. So let me just, it's always, it's always something. What can I say? I do want to put this particular attachment back on that body. So let me warm that up a bit. I think it'll go on fine without warming it up, but I just want to make this as, as quick as possible. All right. Since it's hot, I don't want to touch it directly. All right. And here we go. Turn around this way. Here, click in. It is in. There is no tongue and groove on this one, so we're good to go here. So now it's just a matter of putting this head on this body. And what they probably did is they put the the person the person who had this head sculpt earlier is they probably put a little putty in there so it would affix to the the head adapter or the neck adapter. So let me see. Let me warm this baby up too. We eventually will get a body out of this process. <laughs> Hang in there. We will make it happen. Let's try it now. And if it doesn't work, we'll put putty in there, I guess. Um, all right. Do it with this hand. You know what I want to do? I want to turn it there. <sighs> I'm so relieved. Success. We have it on there. So now we can dress them. But the one thing I want you to see is this guy with let's pause and then we'll get a close-up of just as that folks i think you can tell the striking difference between the universal body and the new head sculpt the head is on there securely we have much more articulation with this body. He can go from side to side. He can go up. He can go down. He, he, we can even tw twist his head all the way around. We won't do it. But uh, there's so much articulation possible with the head, the uh, helmet back up a touch. Okay. Now you can really see the striking difference when we put the former head sculpt in place. There is no contest between the two head sculpts. So we're gonna have to actually transfer the paratrooper outfit onto this particular body, but it's gonna be a new and improved one six scale figure paratrooper Allied Powers, U.S. Army. Finally, after getting the new head sculpt on, I was able to get the uniform on and the accessories. So here he is, the new paratrooper, which is the old paratrooper's clothes, but a new sculpt. We can see the magazine, submachine magazine pouches on his chest. We can see some binoculars here, a gas mask, all sorts of pouches here. Um, on this side, we can see slightly his holster and his gun. That'll come into better view as we turn him around. On this side is the machine, submachine gun, Thompson at his foot. And on the side of his leg is a K-bar and she. So let's, let's turn him around so you can see him a bit better.
there's that wonderful patch on his shoulder. His helmet looks awesome. Canteen coming into view on his belt. Underneath his rucksack is a an entrenching tool, a shovel. There's another pouch to the side of the entrenching tool. The flag on his shoulder on this side. And there's a good view of the K-bar and sheath. All right. Definitely a different look, especially when we get a chance to see his face. So paratrooper, let's do some close-ups so you can see his face. I really don't think we need to turn him around. You can pretty much see things more in detail here in terms of what he has on him. We'll, uh, we'll pause right now and just get really tight on his face so you can see the difference in terms of sculpts. I really hope you like what you see here, folks. I can certainly notice a difference in terms of facial skulls. I could not resist doing this. He's holding the old head sculpt. But anyway, I hope you've liked what you've seen. You've learned a little bit more about how to, how to put heads on figures, what figures to choose and, 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 and so forth, what works with certain types of figures in terms of head sculpts. So I hope you've learned a lot. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. In the meantime, guys, have a great one.